It is Saturday, March 18th, 2023. And we are getting ready to go to Pole Canyon. Started the pickup, fixing to pull it out. The girls are trying to figure out what's going on this morning this early. So, got the coffee going. We are, we are headed to Pole Canyon Ranch. I think they say it's called Kittaquay, Texas. I always called it Kitty Key, but I've been told otherwise. So, here we go. Turn off the lights in the barn. Jake's up and bright and cheery this morning. Not. And away we go. Well, we were gonna try to show you all the alien spacecraft outside of Roswell, but it's not lit up. It's not lit up, so the batteries must have died batteries not included or no one this town probably stole them. Meaning that they stole the head of the little alien and I think a whole one the last time I looked. Spaceship Playland.
Lawrence here. And Duncan made a real neat sign with the alien holding up their, uh, their sign there, the Baskin Robbins. Duncan Donuts, Baskin Robbins. And that's about the end of downtown. So we'll film some more in a bit. Last place for fuel as you head out of Roswell, or if you come in from the north side.
interesting truck sitting there. Old fire truck. Just got diesel for 345. That's a pretty good, pretty good deal. We are 41 miles away from Bull Canyon Ranch, and here we go. 
just went by a sign that said the Jimmy Dean Museum is in Plainview, Texas, along with the Lano Estacado um, one. There's the, the courthouse. me to not be on that curve so farm road 2286 eastbound again Plainview, Texas so as I was driving down through here I was noticing and these aren't as tall as the other ones but these Power poles are super tall. And I don't know if they're just such high voltage that they've got to be that high up or I, I don't know. But, uh, but they're a ways on up there. The ones at the end of the field I can see where maybe they're that high so the crop duster can fly under them. But these ones that have low poles, uh, I don't know. Anyhow, just kind of a random thought there. We are on Farm Road 2286. Uh, we're 31 miles from Pole Canyon, about 35 minutes it says. We're, we're not getting in a hurry. Speed limit 75, but we're just running about 65, taking it easy. Wind's blowing a little bit. We'll get over here and get the girls settled. We might go make a circle here later this afternoon. See, see what we feel like. I definitely need to go for a walk this afternoon. Get some exercise in. But, but anyhow, we're getting closer. There ain't nothing better for the soul than an old two-lane road going across the Lano Estacado and if I can get that in there with the trailer toting behind you uh, three mules and a horse I'm gonna gonna go check out some country that God's God's created so I tell you it's it's pretty pretty dadgum nice just cruising out across here and and uh, enjoying this, listening to uh, the Bakersfield beat there by Dwight Yoakam. And, uh, you know, looking, looking at technology in front of us, you know, think about back when, the, when they were coming across here on horse and buggy. And I mean, this stuff here probably wasn't too bad to come across. I'm sure it got sandy as hell and, and whatnot, but, uh, you know, if you think about some of that country we're off into, having to lock the wheels to slide down La Luz Canyon, this was probably a little easier traveling. But, um, fifteen miles out, we're coming up on South Plains, Texas, Caprock Canyon State Park, Trailways Access System. So they had a railroad. I looked at it on the map, but they've made a trail out of it. And there's some tun tunnels and whatnot. Um, so I I don't know if that, I bet that sucker came right up through right back there. All right. So we are getting out of the farm country. If I looked at the map right, their, their property line comes right up on top and, you know, probably within a mile or so of these windmills over here on our left. So, so we're getting pretty close to 
dropping off the lano. Kid of clays right down the road there. And here's what they call the brakes. Well, we made it to Pole Canyon. Here's Rose. The pins are, they got some space in between them. There's Abby. There's Trudy and Sam. And then Misty's over there. We got stall number two. Spot number two, I guess pull another one in over here beside us but I don't think I think these people over here next to us are leaving in the morning they said probably the next one's down the lane but but anyhow we've got a they're 12 by 12 stalls might be 12 by 14 those are pretty good sized stalls and so wheat filled with the cows out on it we've got the guest house over there there's another big living quarter trailer uh, right there. And we got mom's trailer here and pickup. We moved my pickup over to block the wind a little bit. We got a whole bunch of hay nets made up for the next three feedings. But got the blackstone out, the fire pit, and our table. So we are set up and ready to give this place a try. So 